Students tonight still reacting to the earthquake that shook the tri-state area on Friday. I could feel it right here on campus. Now our Matt Lesnick joins us tonight after speaking with students who were concerned about their families during the quake. That's right, John and Olivia. Good evening. Friday's earthquake may not have caused too much damage, but it still caused worry within students. Though there weren't huge shakes, there were some big concerns. To my recollection, that hasn't happened before, or like in my lifetime at least, that hasn't happened. So I was pretty shocked. Friday, earthquake shook the tri-state area. Reported magnitudes as high as 4.8, those coming in Tewksbury, New Jersey. Students from the area worried for the safety of friends and relatives. Some of my friends in like a group chat, they were pretty like worried and asking me if I was feeling anything in New York. And I hadn't heard anything from my family down there, so that made me worried. Aftershocks shook throughout the day, one of the largest being a 4.0 near Gladstone, New Jersey. Shelby Rich is from Bedminster, just one town over from Gladstone, and she was surprised it was so close to home. Um, I think it's definitely scary because it's something that no one really has control over, so hearing that it happened like right next to me was just kind of like, like, I don't know, made you just be like very appreciative of you know, not having a lot of damage. Though she didn't have much, there was still some significant damage throughout the state. Water main breaks were reported and gas leaks also led to evacuations. Back at SU, Shelby's brother Shane also attends Syracuse and having him here made her feel just a little better. Well, just knowing that if anything bad were to have happened to anyone in my family or like the people, you know, at home, like we had each other, just having that security. Syracuse has a large population of students from the tri-state area, most of whom are not used to these earthquakes, and many of them share the same feelings of shock and worry. John and Olivia, back to you.